searching on Amazon for audio gears. I usually don't do it. Sometimes I go there to take some adapters, cables, small things like that. But amplifier and stuff like that, I usually don't do it. But if you do it like I did it in the last weeks, it probably could you encounter the amplifier that we are going to review today. I was looking for a small tube amplifier, 10 watt maximum, to complete my review of the three speaker that we did some weeks ago. I was need this amplifier to just test the sensitivity of the speaker to see if are able to play with a small amplifier like that. And then I found one. I decided to buy it based on the review that was actually very positive, unbelievable, beautiful amplifier and things like that. So I say, okay, let's try it. I bought it and here we go. So today we are going to review the Dynamox, Dynamox, I don't know how to call it, PR Svanzik. A small jump and let's do it. So actually my expectation was not so much high. I mean, when you decide to buy an amplifier from a brand that is not so famous, let's say like that. Actually, I have a cable from this brand. I paid 30 bucks and it's working beautiful. I compared it with a cable that is costed 700 bucks and he blow up these cables. He was amazing for 30 bucks, was beautiful. I still have it here. So I decided to buy these amplifiers and my expectation, as I say, was not so much high. It arrived in this box that was okay, nothing special. I opened the box, was pretty heavy actually, mm, I think 9-10 kilograms. Ah, about the retail price, we had a retail price of 450 euro. So 450 bucks, 400 bucks, something like that, or actually 500 bucks. So that was not cheap. A 20 pounds amplifier that out from the box is look actually solid. Solid and no more. A industrial design, let's say like that. To be able to take a look of the tubes, you have to remove this protection. So I unscrew it and oh God. I don't know if I received an old one, but actually I purchased it like new. It was look terrible. The tubes look so old and dirty, dirty everywhere. Nothing even closer to the pictures that was online, unfortunately. So confident about that was already a send it back products, I was more interested in how it sounds rather than how it's look. So I decided to connect it to my speaker. And here we go, another problem. Spinning post was too short and is stable, so I had to use the lateral connection. It has only one input, yes, only one. So I decided to connect my Cambridge Audio H and Q streamer and digital to analog converter to test the amplifier. Ah, I forget, no remote control. So if you want to change the volumes from your sitting positions, be sure to have a remote control, at least from the source. So I crank down the volumes before to turn it on and on. Also the potentiometer, really bad. Cheap, but it was working. Just doing a strange noise or clack uh, was not so good. Then I let it warm up a little bit, half an hour, and I immediately checked the noise that it was coming from the speaker is something that usually I do it. Usually we have when the amplifiers have some noise floor you hear it from the Twitter but Twitter was pretty clean but the noise was coming from the woofer. That's the first time that I hear something like that. Not so much, nothing that you can hear from your listening positions but from the woofer was a little bit noisy. Just slight a bit. Could this affect the sounds? Honestly, I don't know. And now let's speak about the sound quality. It's something between warm and V-shape with audible colorations on the bass. That sometimes could be a little bit boomy and fatigue, but probably someone could appreciate it. And actually in some songs I really appreciated this warm bass, but I found also that it's lacking accuracy, speed and grip considering the price range. And in some complex passages, you really notice it. For example, Horatio Luna, Milestones, Tribute, at 1 minute 30, this complex passages on bass line, 
and was a little bit lack of everything. You miss the speed, the accuracy in the baseline, so it was not so much okay. Or in head-on of Jose Gonzalez, whose pace is really fatigue and long. Let's say that VR Svanzi couldn't handle this with the authority that I was looking for. Instruments and voices are lack a little bit of air and timber accuracy, but actually female voices sounds really beautiful and I could enjoy it. But I found also that there is these small signs of sibilance that could be fatigue after a while. And voices are literally projected in front of your face. That is something that you can like or not. I actually don't like it. I mean, at least for me, it's not what I'm looking for. The voice of the Agnes Obel in Riverside is one example. The voice is literally in your face for all the song. One other strange thing that I noticed, and this one was specially with Nora Jones' song, Don't Be Denied. The beautiful voices of Nora Jones was slightly on the right. And this inaccuracy in the center imaging and in the balance of the channels is something that I noticed also with other songs and is not coming from my setup. At least I'm sure of this because I test so much amplifier and never I had this problem. Triple has not a great extension, is rolled off, and I noticed it especially with GS music where cymbals has a poor contrast. Soundstage is really wide, but not deep. And imaging is lack in autofocus where instruments and artists have a poor separation. So in the end, it's an amplifier that wants to impress you with the rich colored bass and voices on your face. That could be good for the first five minutes before you start to understand how irrealistic it is. So I feel the magic of the tubes, but it's lack unfortunately in so many aspects. About the tubes, please don't ask if I test it with other tubes. I don't. I test the products, I review the products, how they are sold and not how they could be. But please, if you own this amplifier, you probably enjoy it, so keep do it. Don't let my opinion change the way how you feel about it. Because, as I always say, sounds is based on personal taste. From the audio is everything. I hope you enjoyed the review. Subscribe to the channel to support my work and see you soon. Peace.